So by now I'm sure you've heard about the 21 Day You Challenge. So what this challenge is about really lies within four main areas that I was struggling with as a online blogger and someone that was really trying to get my business to come to life. So the first thing that I found challenging was around competition. So whenever you go online, it's almost like there's this sea of sameness, all these people out there trying to do the same things. And especially when you're in the online world, I think you're bombarded by that. Um, not only because you share similar interests that they would be targeting and marketing, but it can feel very suffocating in this world of people that are trying to do the same thing that you are. So that was one thing that really came out of this is how did I really differentiate myself and create my own niche, even though there were a lot of people out there, it felt like they were doing the same things. And they really, I really was doing the same things until I was able to dig deeper into what made me uniquely me and why my story was so different. So the second area that was challenging was looking at my ideal customers. Uh, in the beginning, I was just putting my stuff out there and hoping that certain, it would cause engagement and people would like it. And what I really realized is I was talking to everyone. And when you're talking to everyone, you're really talking to no one. And again, it was this process of going within, digging deeper, and really doing the work to figure out who is my ideal customer, uh, what do they do, what do they think about, and really taking the time to actually take a step back before I could take a step forward. And what that allowed me to do is figure out who I was speaking to, who was actually my ideal customer, because not everyone is your ideal customer. You really have to be specific in who you can talk to so that you get to the point that you can say with confidence, hey there, this person. Um, I know that you're sitting at home and your, your kids are in bed, you're tired, you're wondering, how am I gonna get this all done? That sort of, uh, specificness is so essential when you are marketing um, uh, to those people. Um, it has to be like you are speaking to that exact person. So that was something that once I was able to pull back those, those layers of the onion, it was so evident that the engagement went up. Um, people were sharing my stuff. It was like just a totally different um, way to get the message out there without feeling like I was pushing it upon people that really didn't care. Um, the next area that was a pain point for me was definitely around the investment. I was going online and I uh, had done Marie Forleo B school. Um, I had been in marketing meetings as the president of a fitness company and you know, they're sliding in a, you know, a proposal across the table that's 20 grand, a hundred grand. And it was like, man, like if this is what it costs a company to do, you know, their marketing, their brand revitalization, holy shit, like I, you know, as a blogger, you're, or as, as someone online, I mean, I'm on a shoestring budget. Like I don't really want to have to spend that sort of money. It's got to be simpler than this. And I was uh, the type of personality with grit that I would just read as much as possible to try to get all those nuggets out of whatever was out there for free that I could try to put together um, to push my business along. And what I found is that it's funny because a lot of these big companies, Marie Forleo, a lot of these influences, influencers out there actually are saying similar things, but sometimes the way that someone says something can completely resonate with you or it can make you um, in a state of overwhelm. And so my, you know, a blessing and a curse, I am so simplistic. Like I, I can't handle things when people go into tons of detail and they go way too deep. So from all of that, that big cost, really, I have gone through that process of really simplifying, okay, what are the things that actually matter and are very easy to execute um, so that I, one, I save money on uh, what I'm investing in. I want my the biggest bang for my buck, always. It's very, you know, when you have a spouse and a partner and you're saying, hey, I wanna make this inv investment in my, in my side hustle or my, you know, if it's a full hustle, 
you've got to be down to, you know, matter of fact, what are the measurables? What am I going to get for this money? Because, you know, when you're in, um, if it's not just your money, it may just be your own money. But if you're also have a spouse involved, then it's got to, that money's got to work for you. Or if you're, you know, providing for a family, that money has got to work for you. So I've really tried to um, go through and pull out those golden nuggets of all those things that I've learned that have actually given me result, not just been lip service of, oh, this will really help your brand, but we don't know by how much. So these are the things that have actually really, really worked for me. Um, so the uh, last thing would be just around the marketing angle. I was finding that um, I was sort of like a one trick pony. It was like, oh, I can, you know, just go on Instagram or Facebook and that's going to be my niche and I'm just really going to work that. And what I realized is that there's a lot of other ways to go big um, instead of just like that can get old very quickly or it can just be very limiting that you're just focused on that one angle so there's so many other avenues to look at um, various social media channels but how to get your um, you know your landing pages your autoresponders all those sort of things in line so that you're speaking to the right person now in the 21 day challenge we don't go into the techie stuff but what we do do is identify your voice so that as you start to want to build those other funnels and those other areas, you don't even have to think about how to put those um, those things together. It's like once you've identified your customer persona, all of that stuff is extremely, extremely easy. So what I hope to do within this 21 day challenge, I've explained a little bit about the why. It's really giving you guys this sort of taster of this is what it would be like if I were to, instead of going really wide, it's about going really deep. This 21 day challenge, anyone can do something for 21 days, right? I think a lot in fitness, we talk about that. It takes 21 days for a skill to become a habit. That's where the 21 uh, day challenge has really come in. I've created these mini series. There's seven uh, individual uh, courses. And in those uh, little mini courses, you're then going to get a video as well as a template to back up. This is the learning. Now, actually, this is going into me executing it and making it something I can implement right away. And within those 21 days, I'm extremely confident that you're going to walk out of that and feel like, holy smokes, I can't believe I've been operating without this. I just want more. So you are through this course, you are going to get the how to take your business to the next level. Uh, you're going to see your engagement go up. You're going to see people sharing your content. You're going to uh, see more people reaching out to you and the right people reaching out to you. So thank you so much for watching. The next video is going to explain all the different courses that are part of the 21 day challenge. And I look so forward to seeing you there. Thanks.